What's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you about what an imbalance is. Now, you might be wondering, well first off, what is an imbalance? It is an area where orders are yet to be filled. So for example, let me um, find somewhere to draw. Might be easier if I just do this. Um, right here. So what an imbalance is, is it's kind of, you can almost think of it as a three candlestick pattern. Because you kind of need um, three candlesticks to have an imbalance. So this would be your first candle. Let me think, it's kind of hard to draw on this. Yeah, and then your second candle would be like um, this. You know, you gotta have your open high, low close. And then your third candle. We'll say it's like this. Oops, a little fat. So, you, there will always be it has there has to be three candles it's you like can think of it as like a pattern but just know that there has to be three candles to be able to find a true imbalance of some sort so you have these candles here right this is your three candle pattern now where is there um that there's no balance price there's no balance price in the end of this you see when you have candlesticks you always want the wicks to um almost not coincide but almost touch each other so for example say the wick was very long like this and like this and do you see how they touch each other through that candle? There would be no imbalance. This would be balanced. Now, if it was like this and like this, this is still the imbalance here. The imbalance size can change. It could come all the way down here and, and be like this. Then you would kind of not have one because I would just, it'd be like this. That's what that looked like. And then your wick or your imbalance would be this. It just depends. And now you guys know what bearish and bullish means. So if it's three down candles, it would be a bearish imbalance and if it was three up candles it would be a bullish imbalance so I think if I did this this is a bearish one right here I'll show you guys a bullish one here I can just go like <clears throat> um there we go so if it were to look like this this would be a bullish imbalance now imbalance is also called a fair value gap that's kind of the technical ICT term that we use to identify them. Oops, sorry, it looked like my hair was sticking out. But so fair value gap is the technical term, and now this would be a bullish imbalance. Just you draw like that, unless the wick was here and here, you know, your imbalance would be this small. It would be like that. Now, imbalances will form on any time frame. It's, it goes along with anything that the time price is fractal, so it doesn't matter necessarily what time it is. Now, what do these imbalances show? As you see, there's big ones right here, right? You have two. You can mark them out. You have one candlestick, two candlestick, three candlestick. Same thing down here. One candlestick, two candlestick, three. Do you see how there's no, like, balanced? You want the wicks to touch each other. Like, let's see if we can find an example. Like, even though the body of this candle is right here, there's no imbalance right here because this wick goes through it. Do you see what I'm saying? If this wick wasn't here, though, this would be an imbalance here. It would be a bearish. Now, what do imbalances do? It's where um, increased volume came into the market. Like a lot of volume came into the market, a lot of buying or selling pressure. And as you see here, you had this bearish imbalance, but then on the way up, you form a bullish imbalance. So that means a lot of buying pressure came into the market. And what does price do? So where there's a lot of buying pressure, orders didn't get to get filled. Think of it like as there was not enough time for people to fill their orders to, to jump into the position. So price will revisit that area pick up more orders before going to the draw on liquidity, before going to the buy side level like we talked about last video. As you see here, this would be your buy side. So price made up its mind, said, I'm going to go, we're going back to buy side because we probably just took some sell side. As you see here, we take some sell side. Price takes the sell side, buys up, creates a bullish imbalance. This shows you that the bulls are in the market, that people are wanting to buy. Institutions are ready to go higher. So we come back up and another way to look at it is you wouldn't want to buy price here, right? Because you still have to come back. So you want to time it and be able to buy it on the comeback because you know that price has to rebalance before it can go higher. So why not wait for the rebalance? Why buy all the way up here and have to have drawdown when you could time the rebalance to then go higher? <clears throat> so now imbalances are going to happen on any time frame is a fact. Oops, get rid of this, this, this. See, as you can see, here's a good example of, this is kind of how you know which order flow is getting respected because there's bullish and bearish order flow. So this is a bearish fair value gap right here, right? 
So we create a bearish fair value gap, we come up, we respect it, continue lower, create another bearish fair value gap, come up, respect it, go lower, come back up, respect it, go lower, create another bearish imbalance, come up, respect it, go lower. So we over here, we were in a bearish trend market, bearish. Now here over here, for example, we are in a bullish trend market. Why? Because we're going higher, creating higher highs and higher lows, but also respecting bullish imbalances. For example, your first one's all the way at the bottom that we marked out there. There's one respect, goes higher. This is like a breakaway gap. We imbalance, come back, tap it, go higher. The imbalance is right here. Come back, tap, 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 go higher. Now you can expect price to maybe revisit somewhere in these imbalances. Now, what is the difference if a fair value gap gets respected or disrespected? So let's draw it out. So we'll say boom, boom, boom. So imagine this is your fair value gap right here. Draw a candle to make it clear. This is your fair value gap, right? It's a bullish fair value gap, higher high, higher low. Now, this is your candle right here. Let me draw a candle now. Imagine this is a candle. We'll make it red. Okay, and and this is your and this is your wick, and this is your wick. Now you see how it's a very long wick. So you filled the imbalance completely. We'll say it's a 15 minute, five minute. You filled the imbalance completely, and you bought up. As long as the closure of the candle is inside the fair value gap, it is respected. So this right here would be respected. This looks like this, respected. Now what does disrespect look like? Disrespect would look like if the candle closed like this. So if the candle closes like that, it disrespects it, you can imagine price will then do this. Maybe retest it, then come lower. As you see, it matters where the candle closes. For here, look, we came down, touched this imbalance, bought all the way back up, and respected it. As you see here, you have this bearish fair value gap, right? You kind of go up, you respect it, you respect it, you disrespect it right here with this closure above, come back, retest it, because it comes at inverse. You can still use them on the opposite um, things. But as you see, you disrespect it with these closures above it, and then you go higher. It's no longer valid. Do you see these ones up here? You never close above the imbalance, so then you can continue to go lower. You never close above the imbalance, so you continue to go lower. There's probably some, for example, right here. Look, so we have this bullish one, right? We come up, we come up, we close right below it. You can expect price to go lower. Lower into what though? Lower into the bearish one. So now you disrespect the bullish one, come back, retest the bearish one, and then sell off. It's as simple as that. An imbalance is an area where the market was moving too fast for orders to be filled. So price wants to revisit that area to fill more orders before it continues to its bias. Draw liquidity, buy side, sell side. I hope that makes sense for you guys. I will make another video going more in depth into fair value gaps and how you can um spot them better and things of that nature but yeah i hope you guys have a great day um there's a free discord if you have any questions uh like and subscribe thank you so much god bless